Hello and welcome to a new video about my temperature controlling thing here. Huh? Changed a little bit. How I want to show you, alright? So I wanted to make a casing so that it looks a little bit more like an like a device, yeah, not just like something just put roughly together. I wanted to have this look like a device. And I think I managed, I will show you afterwards. However, First to the construction. I'm, I've used my 3D uh, CAD system here and I've drawn how it looked then. I've drawn the heat sink and so on. In here there is this belt E element. On the other side I wanted to place a cup holder like this so that we can heat or cool this thing. Huh? So this was this was the original design I wanted. This was the, this is how it looked like. Yeah. So I said, okay, first of all I need a cover back here. Yeah. So there is a, should be a cover that have an airstream running through here. I will mount here a fan. Yeah. There is a fan also, uh, and on the front side. I'm going to use, I'm going to mount these, these operator panels and so on. So, uh, I thought I will mount some rack device yeah, for my controls with my Arduino Nano and whatever I need in here. So plugs for the sensors and so on. Uh, I will also mount here my motor driver. Here on this side, I wanted to Add the 12 volts, and here I'm plugging into or uh, connecting to the to the PLT element, and we can control this. Uh, then I will use then uh, where is this here? Yeah, something like that, where I can place here here with this little long hole. I want to place the the keyboard, all right, and here I want to place the LCD. Yeah, the LC display and these holes I've made for for the status LEDs yeah, so that we can have a look at the LEDs here the LEDs which operation mode are present and here the LEDs if we're in operation if we're heating we are cooling and so on yeah and here I should have plenty of, of room I also made some cable holders and so stuff like that so that I can organize my cables. The only thing I've not drawn in there was this uh, adapter, yeah? the I2C adapter here. And this was a mistake because it simply did not fit in here. This was bad actually. I then had to tweak this a little bit. I unsoldered this, this plug and directly soldered the I2C device then it fit. But yeah, I was lucky. Yeah. So advice, whenever you're planning something like this, draw everything you can. Yeah? Then it should work. Alright, then I needed to have to, to, to hold something, this, this to hold this keyboard in place. So I made here a keyboard clamp so that we can adapt a little bit to the height. Also not a bad idea. Yeah? And then there is this there is this operator panel cover should look like that. Alright? With he with description and so on. Yeah. This is what I thought it should look like. And I can produce it in my 3D printer. This is also something. Yeah. Uh, I also made a cover up here. Yeah. So that we do not see a lot of these woods just here, where I'm not sure how to mount this cup holder. Huh? I asked at the manufacturer for this cup holder. They said, okay, you can have exactly that thing for 700 euros. And I said, okay, thank you. We'll come back to you. <laughs> I will not buy this for 700 euros. Uh, now it's just is a, uh, Aluminium L profile there. 
Well, maybe we have another better idea somewhere later, but right now this cup holder is just a placeholder for this aluminium rack. All right, so on this side, here is a hole for the 12 volts to go in. Yeah? And here is a hole, on the other side is a hole for plugging in the, the Arduino Nano, so that we can still program it while it's in case there. Okay, and we have to mount the, the DC. I have made room here, and this also needed a casing, of course, because here, I know, you know, here is the, 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 dangerous voltage, the 230 volts. So I made here a slightly designed cover so that we can run the cables here. Yeah, I made here a little bit curvy design yeah, that we can go with 24 volts here to the, to the terminals. And from the back side, I thought we could use this sort of plug. Uh, and we are running with 230 volt here and I'm using I'm using a plug with switch so it can turn it on and off. Yeah. And then I also made made a cover. Oh, it was the wrong cover. <laughs> Where is this? Ah yeah. Here. here I made such a type of cover. Uh, this is one part, and I also placed there other part so that we have our logo on the cover. Uh, looked, I think it looked nice. Yeah? And then here I wanted to have some, at the top I wanted to have some, you know, hmm, good looking thing. So I, I designed something like that, yeah? so that we have fans here or, or wings so that we can yeah, it looks a little bit, they are not technically necessary, but it looks nice, I would say. And then I made also something like that, so that we can place our, our logo also on the top. This is how I sh thought it should look like. This was my idea. And now I'm going to show you how it turned out. Going to show you how it turned out. It turned out that way. Huh? You have seen those parts already. You have also seen these parts. Yeah. Uh, here, the power supply casing it looked pretty nice. I, I would say. Huh? Here, the, the 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 back casing with the fan. With the fan back there. Here, we also have. Uh, the, the air temperature measurement and the fan, the fan plugged in and look at how, how close this, this, this electronic stuff there is. Huh? I also made a fuse inside there. Whoa. I think it looks pretty nice. Maybe there's room for improvement for this aluminium thingy here and also this this temperature sensor who is measuring the process temperature here's the process temperature would be nice if it would look like a little bit different yeah? here on the back side we have this 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 plug yeah? and we can simply try to operate this plug it in back Plug it into a power outlet. Hmm. Turn on. You hear the fan is coming on. Here we have the display 23.8 into 3. I'm not sure. No, you cannot read. Of course, you cannot read it. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I think you've seen the other videos, right? Uh, so there is, and it's working. <laughs> it's actually working. And I can even, here, this also fits. Yeah? I can even plug in here 
my Arduino Nano still. Hey, I like it. I like how it turned out. It is not perfect. Some things I needed to adapt a little bit, let's say, after the printing. Yeah, there are little holes which were too little, maybe. There I need to, 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 to use a drill and... However, in the end, it worked, yeah? What did not fit was made fit. Was nicht passt, wird passend gemacht. Alright. <laughs> yeah. So this is working. We can operate here, change the pages, uh, change the operating mode, turn on the output, switch to PID, PID and say I want to have 30 degrees Celsius, please. Heating. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. This is how it turned out. Good, huh? Now it's a device. It's getting warmer. Let's heat it up to, to 45. I want to burn my fingers. <laughs> More heating. Yeah. Then we can maybe place really a cup holder, something like this, and then we can place if you want to have a cold drink, a hot drink, or something like this. Also, this fan-looking thing here turned out to be... Well, it looks pretty nice, I would say. Good! No? So, this is... This is now going to help us a little bit understand uh, controls, feedback controls uh, in my teaching and so on, so that we have a little bit something we can touch and now ah it's really getting warm and then so on yeah, and yeah, look at curves and adjust the BAD controller something we can play with in in the lessons for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye <laughs>